beautiful day out today. Fixing to hit the road, do my normal mileage in between 11 and 15. I'm sure I have family in uh, from out of town. And I want to get back and see what we're going to do today. So I'm going to hit the road, get out of here, freeze a little bit, sweat a little bit and get back home as quick as I can. So, we'll see you on the road, guys. Peace. This is nippy out here. Nippy, nippy. Hey, horsey, horsey, horsey. So let's talk about uh, getting into cycling. I'm not going to go real in depth because that's not easy to do while I'm trying to pedal. But for those of you looking to get into riding bikes, whether it be on road or off road, BMX. Uh, know that you don't need to be pressured into buying bicycles that are expensive. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to go out and buy the cheapest bike you can find. But typically, if you're looking at a brand new bike, Somewhere between $500 and $1,000 is typically a sweet spot. Not only for beginners, but even people that ride often. Uh, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. And I know for some people, $500 to $1,000 is insane price for a bike and you know I'm kind of with you on that uh, to a, to an extent I think I think 99% of people wanting to get into cycling or they do cycle most people don't need bikes over a thousand dollars they think they do so just don't be pressured. Don't be pressured by those people because they're not the ones that's going to have to pay for it. Uh, all of my bikes that I have, uh, I have one used bike and, and that's the Trek uh, 7.3 FX that I'm on right now. Uh, but my bikes, all of them brand new are $800 uh, to $600 and really they're serving the purpose they're doing just fine I'm not an extreme rider off-road and I'm not into racing on-road So having the best, the most durable, the, the, the lightest, the fastest drivetrain, uh, gearing, uh, you know, I don't have to have all that. And most people don't. Most people aren't out here racing or doing, you know, 30 foot jumps. So. You can get the full cycling experience with, without a doubt. The full cycling experience on-road and off-road 
with a budget of 500 to a thousand dollars and that's brand new bikes now you can buy used bikes that at one time might have been a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars and you can buy them used for you know five hundred dollars eight hundred dollars and there's nothing wrong with that but you need to know what you're looking for you need to make sure you know you need to go over the frame for cracks and creaks you need to look at the drivetrain see how it see how uh, the gears change you know check things out check the wheels make sure the wheels aren't cracked and, and all warped and some things you can get by on some things you can get away with and and just replace something if it's you know budget wise and some things you can't like a frame so now I bought my truck used and it was six years old when I bought it it's a 2010 I got it in I got it November 29th uh, 2016 and I'm the third owner I paid I paid a little more than I think it was worth but at the time I really liked it and and just went for it uh, and it was from a friend who could have given me a little better deal but that is what it is that was my decision <sighs> alright continuing on to what I was talking about with bicycles and beginners I talked about new bicycles in the range roughly from $500 to $1,000 um, which include my GT Pantera Comp it's a 2017 uh, it was $800 and then with tax it was like $850 my uh, Riley Redux 1 uh, got it in 2016 new and it was six hundred dollars and then with tax it was like six thirty something and then of course like I mentioned my Trek uh, FX 7.3 it's a 2010 and new I think it went for about seven hundred I think new they go for about seven hundred or so back uh, when it was new 2010 Um, but you can get and don't be scared of big box store bicycles like Walmart, Target, Kmart, Dick's, Sporting Goods, uh, stuff like that. Don't be scared of them. Uh, if you're just doing regular normal riding, those bikes are going to be fine. Uh, you just need to go over them make sure they're well put together and if you know how to take a bicycle apart uh, and put it back together you can do the work you can take it apart make sure everything's good and clean and then regrease everything re-oil you know make sure things are tight and right make sure your wheels are true you know make sure things are done right and for for a, a good price you know anywhere from maybe $100 to $500 you can get well I'm not gonna say 500 but we'll say a hundred to 
400. You can get a good quality bike that'll last most people. So don't be scared off by uh, the bad rap that you know big box store bikes get. No, generally speaking, they aren't going to be the quality. Okay? But if you're just starting out, as long as you make sure that bicycle is running perfectly, they're good to start with for a lot of people. There's no reason to be spending a lot of money for something that you might not enjoy doing. Which is also why I mentioned buying used bikes. Uh, a little higher quality used bike that you can get sometimes for the same price as a big box store bike like Walmart, Target, Kmart, that place. So you just have to look around, think about what you're wanting the type of riding and really no matter your budget you can enjoy riding a bicycle I'm looking at getting a new road bike to replace my track uh, I'm looking to get a new one in 2019 probably around the fall and more than likely as long as my wife is good with it uh, I'm not gonna spend over a thousand dollars unless for a hundred I mean unless I can get a real step up in upgrades like to the drivetrain and that for say another hundred dollars two hundred dollars and if it's gonna be if it's gonna be a significant difference and I look up you know people's ratings on that drivetrain and that bike and this that and the other and they say it's well worth it and definite upgrade then I'll spend the little bit extra because you know I want that bike to last five years ten years I'm not someone who replaces bikes every other year like a lot of people I don't care to do that so I hope that I gave you a little bit of information and made you feel a little bit more comfortable about kind of what to look for where to look for it just uh, check over your used bikes if you have to take them to a bicycle shop and have them check them they, they'll probably check them out for you for like twenty dollars which could save you money in the long run Walmart bikes take them apart put them back together grease them oil them do them make sure they're done right Alright, well I'm going to film a little bit of my ride now and make my way towards my house, which I still have a little ways to go. So we'll see.
This gravel is slick as snot. Trying to hold it together here. Matter of fact, I don't think it has much gravel left. All right, guys, I am home. Good little ride, felt good, over and done. Now I can indulge in some food activity. So, a quick recap on the subject of this ride. Uh, where to start uh, with your purchase of a bicycle? First of all, budget. What is your budget? Not your best friend's budget. Not this guy over here's budget. What's your real budget? Okay? That's what we need to worry about. Number two, what kind of riding are you wanting to do? Are you wanting to ride on the road? Are you wanting to ride off the road? And there are different categories in each of those so you need to decide what you want to do before you buy but we'll just stick with the basics road road cycling and off-road cycling uh, you need to determine um, how uh, how you're wanting to ride are you wanting to race are you wanting to just general fitness are you wanting to have just fun uh, maybe a combination. Uh, you need to figure out those things. And uh, then start making wise choices. Then we have the choice of, do you want a new bike? Do you want a, a used bike? Or do you want to buy a budget bike like from a big box store like Walmart, Kmart, Target, places like that. Um, like I said in my video, uh, I don't, you know, I feel like most everyone can get by with a bicycle in between $500 and $1,000. Uh, there's no reason, in my opinion, to spend more uh, unless you're an experienced rider and you're going to be racing and you're looking for the lightest quickest bike on the road or you're racing off-road and you're looking for the lightest quickest bike off-road and bicycles that can do long jumps um drops uh, things of that nature uh, you need to determine what you're going to do and what your budget is and go from there 
uh, and the same goes for your kit the the clothing and stuff that you wear you don't have to have the latest and greatest things you don't have to look like everyone else on the road or off the road be yourself as long as you have a helmet a pair of gloves you know some some decent sold shoes and that don't worry about it start off with what you got <laughs> hello <laughs> that's my brother so anyway that's my thoughts for today on riding a bike and how, how having to choose a bike and where you need to start don't be scared to start everybody starts somewhere so if you have any questions you have any comments you have any ideas uh, post them in the comments that's great that's what this is for um, I'm fixing to go in, get me a little something to eat, a little something to drink, and get out of all this heavy clothing. So everybody, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, don't forget, everyone, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see you again.